Hello, ladies. Look at your game. Now back to mine. Now back to yours. Now back to mine. Sadly, yours isn't mine. But if you watch my let's play of Ocarina of Time Master Quest, it may as well feel like mine. Oh, did I want to have the rumble feature? Why not? So yes. Hey guys. This is... Hey guys and girls, actually. You know, just in case. This is my hello. And this is the start of Legend... My next LP. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Yes, another Ocarina of Time in Let's Play. But it's Master Quest! I'll shut up for this cool intro. And before we see any spoilers, let's go to the menu and... Oh, I see. So those are my practice files, I think, if I remember correctly. But let's make a generic, you know, file name with a generic name called Link, if I can get to it. So yeah, this is Master Quest. Um, for those of you who don't know about it... Oh, I'll shut up here, too. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know what this could be. Creepy, weird dream sequence? Hmm. If I... What am I doing here in front of a bridge? Out in the middle of nowhere in the rain? And who is this bitch? Who is that bitch? And who's that black bitch? Okay, that was something that's totally wrong, but yeah. Ah! Freak that face! Navi. Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku Tree. Dost thou sense it? The climate of evil descending upon this realm. Malevolent forces, even now, are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri Forest, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deterring outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But, before this tremendous evil power, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now, find our young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly! The fate of the forest, nay, the world, depends upon thee. 
Dang. The great Deku Tree sure knows how to have an imposing palpitating voice. But yes, now Navi is flying through Kokiri Force and through his legs! Yeah, that's the way it should be. But yeah, this is Navi the Fairy! The infamous Navi! Yeah! Okay, is that guy humping a rock? Look at him, look at him! He's humping the rock! Oh yeah, that's nice! Anyway, so... Oh yeah, this is Master Quest. The same as Ocarina of Time, except only the dungeons are different. That's it. That's the only difference. And I guess, like, you know, the B button is red, the A button is green, since this is on the GameCube! On my Wii. Same thing. And now here we are in the little tiny abode of Link. The Peter Pan dude. Yeah. Hello, Link! Wake up! The great Deku Tree wants to talk to you! Link, get up! <laughs> He's shivering at the sound of that sultry voice of coldness and evil. Hey, look, listen! Come on! Come on! Can Hyros doesn't he really depend on such a lazy boy? Yes. Yes, it can. Everybody's lazy. Today I feel like not doing anything. Do 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 do. Anyways, yeah. Meanwhile, Link is sitting so politely and listening to this big ball of light with wings. I bet inside a little ball of light is a naked figure of a girl. Uh Navi. Uh, I mean, with other fairies, maybe, but Navi. Um, anyway, you finally woke up. I'm Navi the fairy. Wow, my commentary has been really weird so far. Like, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> The great Decatree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. No, why? The great Decatree must be p me punishing me for being Peter Pan, being so cute, cuter than he is. Well, how can it, anybody be not as cute as, as he's cute? The tree is supposed to be cute, okay? Anyway, the great Decatree has summoned you, so let's get going right now before I go annoying on you. So um. Navi will go like, hey, look, listen! Like very often in this game, I'll be keeping a counter of those unnecessary, hey, look, listen moments. Not the required moments, but the unnecessary moments. But yes, here we are in our humble abode. Humble, empty abode of pre rendered crap. Yay, let's go outside. Listen to the music too. Am I the only one who thinks that the Kokiri Forest song kind of goes well with the little town song from Beauty and the Beast? I mean, call me crazy, am I the only one who thinks that? I really think that they go kind of well together a little bit, I don't know, I mean, uh, why has never ever, uh, nobody ever made a connection before but me? Anyway, so here's a green-haired girl in green. Wow, so monotonous. Everything is in green! Am I colorblind? Am I seeing everything in green? Anyway, Yahoo! Yahoo! Hi, Link! That is not a Saria voice at all. But yeah, that's Saria, our childhood friend. And I can totally not talk to her, but I'm gonna talk to her. Why not? Wow, a fairy! Finally, a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now, you're a true Kokiri, Link. What was that before? An outcast. Yes, yes, I was. Is that right? The great Decatree has summoned you. I feel so tempted to give Saria some accent, like, it's quite an honor to talk with the great Decatree. Except you're not from a ranch, so. No. Oh, I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the great Deku Tree. I need to come up with a voice for Saria. But yeah, here we are in the Kokiri Forest. Okay, why am I giving... Why do I have a southern accent all over it? So, um... What I'm gonna do now is collect some rupees and go up this way because... We, we need some stuffs. I also want to jump over these fences and... Be constipated as we try to grab... Okay, that's unnecessary Navi number one. The great tech tree has summoned you. Please come with me. No! Shut up, bitch. Yeah, we got monies for flipping like crazy. So yes, this is all... A lot of these people are going to be tutorial crap, but I think if you... Okay, it was not... It was... Oh yeah, it was these rocks. If you look at these and um, backflip... I said if you... Is it these rocks where you... Wait, is... That's funny. Okay, okay. 
I hate this part too. Uh, those freaking rocks. They'll never leave me alone. I don't want to I'll target you. Get away from me. Get away from me. Dude, dude. Okay, that's better. Okay, this is a very rough start to this LP. Well, when has a one of my LPs never been rough at all? Uh, good question. Yeah, so what else should I talk about about Ocarina of Time Master Quest? Um like I've mentioned before, um it probably like in the wake of Ocarina of Time What just hit me there? Oh a big gigantic rock. A rock always has to hit me here, doesn't it? Huh? But yeah, in the wake of Ocarina of Time 3D. Oh by the way, here's a giant treasure chest, almost as big as Link. I mean look at it, it's almost as tall as Link. It has like more volume than Link for sure. He can like fit he can like fit his, himself inside of the treasure chest. Also a sword. Yay. The Kokiri sword. The sword that kinda sucks. Also, text that we cannot skip. Yay! Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. Except we already know how to fight. And we're going to fight. Oh yeah, since this Um Whoa 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 um I wanted to equip the sword. As I notice, um it kinda takes a while to load the start screen. Yeah, that's something, you know, you Oh yeah, I forgot. Memory card. Right. It kinda takes a while to save. So I will try not to save on screen. Otherwise that happens. And that'll be annoying, won't it? Very annoying. Very 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 annoying. Yeah indeed. I'm gonna check over here and see what else was here. Besides the little Ooh, a green rupee. I'm gonna collect as many rupees as I freaking rock and I did not take any damage? What? That was weird. The rock the boulders just came out of nowhere. You know, there's da 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 boulders. And it didn't do any damage to me. Yes! It must be a sign from I don't know. So our objective now is to collect up to 40 rupees. Which is fun. Grinding for rupees at the very beginning of the game. It's all cool. We can do oh, what did I want Bush to spew out two rupees? Like I you know, rupee vomit! Bleah. Royal Rainbow! Bleah. That aside, and sabotaging my photo side. Hello, guy who's humping a rock. How's humping? Get a room, by the way. Um, there's, uh, uh, okay. there's of course a faster way to get rupees. Like this right here. Hello. You look like a fine rupee, you know, that's alone behind a building. You must be bullied. You must be bullied because you're blue. Um, wow, uh, I keep on interrupting myself because I was talking about In the Wake of Ocarina of Time 3D, which I've actually played and, you know, it's actually encouraged me to do this LP because before I was like so hesitant about doing an Ocarina of Time LP, but now, you know, thanks to the Ocarina of Time 3D, you know, I feel like playing this game, even though it's a different game. And indeed, Master Quest is different from Ocarina of Time. In terms of the dungeons, that is, the dungeons are very different. Hey Link, look at this way! Look over here with L and talk to me with A! Now on the N64 this is C targeting, here's L targeting! You know, this is us on the GameCube. Yay! But yeah, um, I guess in the wake of Ocarina of Time 3D with the whole Master Quest thing, there's like, you know, all these Let's Plays of Master Quest 3D up the wazoo, so... This isn't as unique as you think it is anymore! Yay! Okay, can you please stop talking? Please! Also, I love the song. Bum bum bum, robbing your store. Do 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 You can sure dance to the song, which is amazing. You know, when I first saw this, I always thought that that this was Link picking over the counter, but no, it's actually this short ass oh, you know, shop dude. But yes, short as shop, dude. Really, that's all I can think of for s talking. But yes, we get the Deku Shield, our shield, and can you please, um, hurry up, text, text, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. I swear this is gonna be one long as first episode. That's cool, I don't care. Do I look like I care? I should, but I don't care. Now we have a shield, and we're not gonna save on the screen because that's annoying, and that'll take up a lot of time. Meanwhile, we're gonna go. You know, talk to the Deku Tree now, since previously this bitch who would be blocking her way like a complete douchebag would be like, Hey, you don't have a sword or a shield or a ball or a dagger. 
face palm. Why? Why? Why am I doing this to myself? Anyway, if you want to go to see the thicker tree, she can leave a cup of sword and a shield and some bubble gum and some tissue paper and some. Oh, what's that? Oh, you have a thicker shield. Oh, what's that? You thought the cocaine was sword? Good grief, Charlie Brown. Well, even without that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the Great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Well, fine, jerk. Thanks for being such a bully. Shoot, how'd you get to be the favorite of Sari and the Great Dagger Tree, huh? Grumble, grumble. But uh, no, maybe it's because you kept them bullying me, you know? But I was sword, sword, stab, stab, stab. Anyway, yeah, let's go on. To the, talk to the Great Dagger Tree, since, you know, I wanted to talk to the Great Dagger Tree and, you know, oh my god, enemies. Yeah. Deku Babas, no threat at all, but they give us Deku Sticks! Deku Sticks, that is, not Deku Sticks. Wow, my commenters are getting like, more and more immature with each game or something. Jeez, and let's equip. Yay! No, I don't want to save. Press start to. Oh, yeah, here's another dude. Bye. And let's talk to the great Deku Tree, which is like huge and big and mustachey. Great Deku Tree, I'm back! <laughs> oh, Navi, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? No. Yes, of course. Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link. And Link, when Navi speaks, use something to listen well to her words of wisdom. Well, that's where to start off our adventure, huh? Going into someone's mouth and having, yeah, this Navi dude, I mean, whatever. Okay, so I think this will end the first episode off. So, yeah, see you in the next one where we take on our first dungeon. And we will see how this dungeon has changed. See ya.